G'day. Um, my name's Tragic, and I just want to do a short video on uh, some a small way that you can improve the Magic the Gathering Online interface. Now, let's just have a look at Magic the Gathering Online, and this is the deck editor. Now, as you probably know, if you hit the load button, uh, nope. Uh, whoop, yes, it always confuses me. You've got net decks, you've got local decks, and you've got local text decks. And in the look-in folder, you've got a number of different direct, uh, drives on your computer. One of the big problems, for me anyway, with Magic the Gathering Online, is that it doesn't recognize network drives. What that means is... If you have other computers, you can't access through the Magic the Gathering interface their folders. Now, let's, if we just have a look at my home network, you can see I have a number of computers here. Uh, I'm standing on Paintbox, which is where I do my uh, ZBrush stuff, and this one here is my server, and that's where I do all my rendering and animation shit. But the point is, I also have a laptop. Now, wouldn't it be great if you could save your file, if you could browse through the network? So if I made a deck on my computer here, my laptop will be able to read that deck without having to use net decks. And of course, this is completely possible. And it uses something called MK Links. Now, I'll show you how this works. It's, very, it's actually quite simple. Basically, first let's just load up my computer and we're going to browse to the network and we'll just go into the temp folder and I've got a directory called Magic Demo. Okay? Now we want Magic Demo to be our network folder for our Magic Decks. So I'm just going to make a new directory in here. I'm just going to call Magic the Gathering Online Default Decks. Because all those decks that they give us are kind of annoying. Now the next thing we want to do is find this path on our computer. Now it's a little bit tricky because you can't copy and paste it. But it's in users under roaming. Now this is for Windows 7. I'm not quite sure for other versions, but if you go to users, you go to the, your user, and then there'll be a folder called app data. Now, if you can't see that folder, see how it's grayed out? That's because it's hidden. So if you go to organize, folder, and search options, you click on view, and make sure hidden files and folders, you've got ticked show hidden files. And then you'll see that directory. So then just go into app data, Go into roaming, scroll down to Wizards of the Coast and Magic Online version 3 decks. And there's all your decks. Funky Dory. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we're just going to copy all those decks and move them over onto our network drive where we're going to keep all our decks. So we just cop, move here. Do, 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 do. Easy. Now, uh, all we need to do is to make the symbolic link. So if I if I now go load deck, you'll see that there's nothing in there because we just moved all those folders. So now we're going to make the symbolic link, and it's very, very, very easy to do. Basically, just click on start, come here, and type in CMD. But don't press enter, just type it in. And then right-click on the command and go run as administrator. And up will pop a DOS prompt. And that's pretty much almost finished. Now we're going to use a command called mklink. Okay, which is make a link. Now, 
you all know what links are. You use them all the time. They're sort of, uh, sh a lot of people know them as shortcuts. But you can actually link directories, and I'll show you how to do that now. Basically, you just use this command line with the slash D function. So we type mk link slash D. Now we put a comma, uh, exclamation, uh, what a fuck, I can't even speak. Uh, quotation mark, put a quotation mark, and copy. So you come to your, your folder that you're at and copy the complete address of where Magic the Gathering is looking, which is this address you see here. And then just right click in the window and it will paste it in. And then make sure you close the apostrophes, uh, the quotation marks. So make sure the, the paths are under quotation marks, okay? Then open another quotation mark. And now we're just gonna go to the demo directory, which is on our server right click copy and then right click again to paste into here and then just close the quotation marks now what we need to do is because we're actually setting this create the directory blah 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 slash dex and that file that directory dex already exists see I'm actually in it here so just in the magic uh, in the wizards folder just go up one and then delete the dex folder and then just press enter and as you can see the dex folder has turned back up but now it's got a little arrow on it kind of like a shortcut link and if I double click on that I am now on my server you can see the the directories are exactly the same but the big difference is that the computer thinks I'm still on the C drive inside apps roaming wizards all that kind of stuff okay so what that means is if I now go cancel and I hit load I am now looking on the server so then I can go in there and there's all my decks okay so that's it that's all you need to do I'll write the commands into the into the description uh, how much uh, time have I got? Well, I've only taken seven minutes, so I'll quickly talk about one other really awesome way, and this is the way I actually do it myself. There is an application that you can get called Dropbox. And it's a very, very simple application. Basically, it... Oops, Dropbox, I meant, not Dropbox. Basically, it's a file storage. Oops, that's Dropbox. I want Dropbox. Basically, it's a file storage application, and what it does, it allows syncing of data between multiple platforms. So you can kind of understand where I'm going with this. Basically, by using Dropbox, I have NetDex in inverted commas, but for every single one of my computers, even my mobile phone. Okay, so I've just fixed up my link so it's back the way it was before I did that demo for you. So if I go load and I go yes, and I go to my DEX, this is what my DEX look like. I've got Singleton Commando, I've got Extended, and inside Extended I've got uh, Legacy and Classic or whatever. And Here's my Studio DEX, and there's the default DEX, blah, blah, blah. blah. The point is... These are all inside my Dropbox directories, which means that any computer that I install the Dropbox application on, including my mobile phone, will automatically sync these files when there's an internet connection. And because they're only text files, they're really small. So no matter where I am in the world, my my entire deck collection comes with me and the way that happens is like this okay so if i just go into my decks oh actually i'll do it on the other on the other folder okay here's my 
I've got a folder called Archive, and in that I've got a folder called Dropbox. There's my Dropbox, that's made by the application. And in there I've got a, photo, a file called Public, and that's so I can actually send these decks to anybody I want by just right-clicking on them and getting a download link. There's some other crap in there. So here's my directory. So this deck link is actually linked to this folder. So if I double-click on that, it's the same as if I click on that. Right, and so anything I save in here will automatically be uploaded through DOSBox to the internet and stored there. And on any computer that I install the DOS, the Dropbox client, it'll recreate this my Dropbox folder and sync any files in there. And that means if I say I'm on my laptop at work and a lunch break and I say, oh, I have a really good idea to fix that deck I was doing. I can make a few changes and save it. And then when I get home and load up Magic the Gathering, I can just load that deck and bang, it works, which is pretty damn awesome. It's like having net decks, but without the limitation of only having a few decks and being able to have fully sortable directories. Okay, so I hope that helped and you guys thought it might have been interesting. And uh, yeah, I'll uh, see you later. Okay, so let's just have a quick look at this uh, last thing. Now, I'm only just trying to get this pipeline working properly, but basically, if I come along to my phone, under here, I've got Dropbox. And I click on that, and unlike Dropbox on your uh, PC, it won't sync this folder automatically. You have to manually click on the files and download them. But as you can see, I've got access through the internet to all my decks, even on my phone. And I think that is pretty darn cool, especially if you're going over to your mate's house to play and he's got like a bunch of magic cards in a drawer and you just want to load up some of your decks. Well, that's all you need. Everything is, is saved. And uh, I've been testing out uh, various deck editors. I haven't found a really good one, but again, this deck is loaded, is imported. I downloaded it through DOSBox, uh, through Dropbox onto my phone, and then I just imported it. And uh, this allows me, if I wanted to, say I was on the bus on the way to work, because I catch a, a bus and to work. Uh, I can make small adjustments to my deck if I have any wish to and save it and then it will upload back through Dropbox and be available to all my computers wherever I am in the world to access them. Now I still haven't found a really good deck editor that's compatible with uh, Magic the Gathering Online but uh, yeah, that's a start. Okay, so that's the end of that.